Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teach of Skin. It is good to see you. Thank you for coming back to another episode here. Today, we're checking out another game from Artifacts Monday. You have noticed that I've done a few games from Artifacts Monday over the months. This one is called Grim Legends, The Forsaken Bride. And I've enjoyed the hell out of the Artifacts Monday games so far. They are plot-driven, hidden object, mini-game adventures. And I want to play more of them. I want to play more in detail and get down to actually playing into the deeper parts of these games. But um, I don't want to spoil them for you guys either. But what I will do is reach out and grab every single one of these devils that come by and give them a wee try. Now, I'm, a, I'm aware with it being called Grim Legends, it's probably based on the Grim Fables. And I don't know the story of the Forsaken Bride. Maybe. I don't know. Could it be the donkey skin girl? I don't know. I, I, I'm taking a wild guess in the dark. Uh, my knowledge of fables is from a childhood reading of the Grim Fables. And then, of course, every other duration that's been done since. And quite a lot of it is actually the um, Fables comic book series, which has been already translated into a Telltale series, which we still need to finish here on the channel. So if you guys want to see the last episode of that, I'd uh, happily go and do another Tell Us a Tale. It's just a game series that we've actually just kind of like left by the wayside for a good few months and I should probably finish it at least to, just to, just just to complete one of those series and then move on to another one because we've already gone through the uh, the Tales from the Borderlands. But uh, we're not speaking of that today. Today we're speaking of Artifacts Monday and their oeuvre that is Grim Legends, The Forsaken Bride. Now, I don't know what they've done with this one to actually kind of like differentiate it from the other games in the series because Artifacts Monday have this real skill of actually taking their hidden object games and just applying weird and interesting mini games to uh, entertain you in between. Why did you leave me? She pissed about something. And Frodo threw the ring into the fires. The hand of Sauron retrieved. Hmm, okay. Interesting. The Grim Legends of the Forsaken Bride. So, of course, this is again one of the... Uh, the playable demos that uh, Artifacts Money put up online. So obviously it's going to just let us get, and get a snippet of the plot, an idea, a, a, a susan of Artifacts Monday's enjoyable gameplay. So uh, let's take a quick look. Um, obviously a lot of these games are all translated from iOS or uh, touchable platforms. So some of the controls can be a little bit weird, but Artifacts Monday do a better job of this than most. To be honest, it's just the quality of the artwork and design is just really always on on top notch, even if it's going to be very simple. Of course, there is two adventures here. We've got the Forsaken Bride and the Abyss. I think we will be uh, not worrying about the Abyss for now because it's not even available. And we'll jump straight into the Forsaken Bride. It appears to have princes, ladies in waiting, and bears. You hear that? Bears. Uh, casual and expert for beginners, best for smooth experience. Expert players, uh, hint recharges slower and there are handicaps on, uh, oh, sorry, no indications on map. Yeah, fuck that. We're going casual. We are a dirty, filthy console casual. 25 years later. Fucking bear! Oh shit! Okie dokie. Whoa, easy, easy. All right, so we have to find objects to interact with here. Collect a wee bit of you. No one else we can actually touch here. Hint. 
Oh, we need to go over here and grab that. All right. We can use that there. Actually, screw that into place. Aha! To the wedding. Go to your twin sister's wedding. Well, at least we know we're twins. We don't even have to see our own reflection anymore. So, let's see. Uh, zoom! It fell out of the carriage and is pulling it down. I have to do something quickly. It's going to grab the rope with it and pull closer. Uh, uh, anything here? There's anything here? Hang on. Uh, use a claw and moves. We can take the staff. Need that to go over here and use that with that and boom we have the rope cut the rope uh does that work haha <laughs> Woo! that was a bit safer Phew, thank you my dear we can go now <gasps> How did it get there? It might fall. I have to do something. Oh, <laughs> no, save the kitty! Oh no, my trunk. I hope my wedding gift for Lily's all right. Kitty, 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 kitty! Help him! Here, kitty, kitty. Good kitty. Now you got something to climb? There you go. Oh, oh! The kitten's ours. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm overly excited for a kitten. I think it's adorable. Oh, what, what can you use? You can use a pair of what? Or a pin or a wire to pick the lock. Okay. Let's take a wee zoom in here at someone else. And uh, no, let's walk up. Correct. Right, zoom. What's up with this? What the hell? You gonna grab that, would you? Good kitty. Aww. That's adorable. We're gonna be using this kitten to go and find things that are just too far. You just said you point and go, kitty! Get. Good boy. Okay, there we go. Zoom. Interact. 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 Oh, interact. Oh, you little devil. I needed that yarn ball. God damn it. Mm -mm -mm. Opened sesame. My wedding gift for Lily's broken. I need to fix it. Oh, God. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And yep. There we go. Oh, is this a puzzle now? Oh, damn. Uh. <laughs> right, so what we need to do, we need to match symbols. I think you... Wait, hang on. Ah! All right, I was wondering which way, how it was actually meant to be rotating around. So I think I need a square. So I need you and you to switch. Yeah. Boom. Problem solved. Oh, damn it. <laughs> now it's actually more of them. Uh, move the flowers. So what? Oh, so the colored jam actually matches. Okay. Um, yeah, so move you, move you, yeah. Use this to swap you around. Oh, wait, whoa. And there you go. There you go. And there you go. Problem solved.
Oh, I do love these kind of like simple little move around puzzles. Um, I kind of prefer these than the moving object ones, so I'm cooler with this. So do I? Oh, I need to match ones. Do I know you? Uh, five and one. So where's a five and one? So I need to connect you with. Connect you and you. And it's five and one in the opposite. Five and one and you and you. And it's four two four two four two four two four two four two. Wait, what? Three, three, two, oh, four two. There you go. And you're three three. You connect to that. And you connect to that. And you connect to that. Boom. Done. Right? Oh wait, no, hang on, someone's wrong. Oh, sorry, I was looking at that wrong, so that's three. Three is, th oh, whoa. Bam, oh, sorted. Right. Oh, it's amazing, like, what kind of magical prowess her uh, necklace has. It's kind of creepy, though. Okay, proceed. We can travel on further. Huzzah! Well met, good fellow. You must be Lily's twin. She's waiting for you. Wow, you look like Annie Lily. A full moon hangs over the abyss. Bad luck. Bad luck, I says. Meant to give her some? Yep, there you go. It's gorgeous. I'll wear it tonight. I want to introduce you to my fiance. Edward, this is my sister. So nice to finally meet you. Lily's told me all about you. I feel like I've known you for years. Well, you've been fucking my twin. You look a little under the weather. Did something happen on your way here? A bear? That's terrifying. You could have fallen into that rift. The beasts should stay in the forest where they belong. Someone needs to do something about this. I You're the bear. I won't let you go before we're married. We should go to the inn, sis. I need you to help me with my wedding dress. Okie dokie. To the inn! Yeah, to the inn? To the inn! Go inside. You may want to change before the ceremony. Yes, 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 I'm gonna point my fingers. <gasps> Fucking bear! God damn it! Lily! Son of a bitch! Fuck you, bear! Oh shit! Oof. There goes our father. Are you all right? Where's Lily? The beast took her into the woods. I suppose I'll just have to marry you then instead. So I'm going to join them. I'll go with you. I don't think it's a good idea. She's my sister. All right, but for your own good, stay close. I'll look for a crossbow. We'll need some light also. It'll be dark out in the woods. Okay, so we have a plan. He struck your dad's head, but he'll be all right. Okay. Oh. Let Timmy take part in the wedding feast, but afterwards he should stay at home. He is still grounded for playing near that wretched abyss. I'll talk with him later when I get home. Love you. Well, what is this? Um. 
Oh, right. Oh, I'm finding all the green pieces and putting them back where they came from. Uh, okay, I was wondering there. And clover a bit. Uh, you go in there. And there should be another like, green bits around here. There we go. Um, that all the greeneries? Must be more in here around here somewhere. Huh. Oh, I need a new candle. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, step out and find my ass a candle. See that thing? It was huge. Yes, I did, kiddo. It was a big motherfucker. I'll take good care of him. Trust me. Thank you. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. Zoom. We take one of you, and we slap you into here. Boom. Boom! Let there be light! A lantern, eh? Not too bad. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Let's head into the dark and murky place. We have to hurry. Oh, there's more people heading? Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Right, use the torch. Let it light our way. Fucking bear! Follow him. The slope is too slippery. Allow me. Thank you. Ooh, Hobbit Hole. That's how we're going to get up, but. Cart Hobbit Hole. We need to do something to lock its wheel. Oh, wow. Here. Okay, and what's in there? What's this? In there? That was easy. Huh. Well, okay. Boom. There we go. Come on! No time to waste. Sure, because Alright, fine. Bear! Motherfucker. You son, you fat mother! Jesus Christ! Okay, fine. We'll figure this out. Find a way across that ravine. Okay, you try and push a tree out of its roots. I'll go use my brain. So, uh, when you could knock over this tree, fuck it. Charm. What is still? Okay. What is this? A uh, second of uh, in the forest. That's useful. So we still need to be here anyway, though. This is where I need. So stay there. Interact. What's in there? Tie it from the tent first. That would be useful. Boom. <laughs> Whoops. Knocked it over. And oh, this. Try, Try that. That up with water, pilgrim. Nice, a full cauldron. And we use the stick. You. No? Really? Good idea. Can you help me? Well, I'm sure there's what I'm meant to be doing, but I have a cauldron here. Ooh. What's this? Ah, come on, drop that in there. Haha! <laughs> oh god damn it. One more stone. Hey, there we go. Let's use the hiking pick, get that knocked out of the way. Bop, 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 yeah! Rolly, rolly, motherfucker! That's how you knock down a goddamn tree. With physics. We'll shoot this bear yet. 
Don't shoot. You might hurt Lily. <gasps> Uh-oh. Shit. You motherfucker! Well, sister fucker, really. Where am I? What is this place? Rinse it off first. All shiny cleany. Boom! And you slide. <gasps> she offers me a gift. Oh, and something lives in there. Incredible. But you see something broken there. I need the sickle to do that, but I need something else. To do that. Damn. Okay. Uh oh. Ah, god damn it. I need to find shit, and I am awful at these games. Strictly useful item, so I need all those bits and pieces. Now, the biggest problem is that I tend to suck at these, and I may have to go and take up the advice. I mean, is that not one of those things I'm actually looking at right there? Because I can see the ship, and it's not the right behind that rock. See, there's almost like an object in a lot of these to actually what order you need to do them in. All right. Screw it. We're going to open the domino minigame. Oh, whoa. This is different. I thought it was actually going to be like uh, the Mahjong match two kind of thing. Don't tell us to reach all the shields. Grab and place a domino to the n next to the tile next to the one on the game board. Okay. And touch all the shields. Hmm. I think this is right, isn't it? So I'm assuming this, the whole point of this is to actually make a path from one to the other. Yeah? Oh, whoa. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I need to actually cross over the path of those, apparently. Oh, are you serious? I have to actually, oh. So you have to actually cross over them? Hmm. Did not realize that. Did not know I had to actually make contact with them. That's kind of frustrating. So I should probably use some of these. Now I know what I'm doing a lot more here. It's a lot simpler. Literally, I just need to make contact with each and every square on the page and 
It's easier said than done. But... As long as you make contact with one of them at least, then you're absolutely fine. Um... Just do that to actually get myself across. Um. Done. Right? There we go. So. That's essentially how it's made. A uh, useful item would have been a crescent moon, that would have been able to find through the hidden objects, blah, 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 blah. But at least I got to play the mini game. Uh, crescent moon goes in here, I imagine. Why, thank you, dear. How sweet of you. Kind of creepy that stone. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Since the dawn of history, man has gazed upon the enchanting glow of the moon, knowing this alluring light imbued great influence upon the world around him, on the forest, the animals, even the tides, but most of all, upon the mystical world of spiritual magic. The power of spirits and magic grows and diminishes parallel to the moon's waxing and waning. The nearer the full moon, the more powerful enchantments can be cast, and the more anxious the spirits become. Every man who is empathic enough can learn the art of witchcraft. However, due to some deeper inborn connection between the moon and women, most witches are female. Despite common beliefs, the act of witchcraft is not necessarily wicked or evil. Its moral properties depend on how the individual uses it. As everything else. <laughs> okay, assuming there's something that goes on there, but I don't have it yet. Ooh. So let's jump over here. And cutty, cutty, slashy, slashy. The blade is blunt. God damn it, no, I need to sharpen the bastarding thing now as well. Fuck! There's sharpening stone anywhere nearby. Sharpen it on your face. Uh. Damn. Oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> that works. Now we can use it. Slicey, slicey, oncey, twicey. Cut Dread up and eat him nicely. Oh, I can climb up here now. Oh. And um. <laughs> I'll put my hand in there. That's a, probably a good move. We'll need to get the wheels from the mechanism. Um. So what is this? Lost a wheel, the rope which holds the stone to the right also appears to. So I need a rope and a wheel. No. I'm trying to take the thing from up here. Um so direct. Sandstone pillars are blocking the way of the vines. Knocky 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 knocky. We're gonna use the vines as our Rope, I think. Big idea. That's all the cutting thing I was going to be doing. Is done. Um. I don't want to put my hand in there, so I'm trying to figure out what I can do otherwise. Well, I can use this in here anyway. Aren't strong enough, at least not without breeding them. 
Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. I got it. I got it. There we go. Breeding room. Boom. There we go. Twisty, twisty, breedy, breedy. Ha! Ah, rope science! Let's sharpen you on the edge of that. No, no need to sharpen that. Um, okay. Jump out of here. Here. And we can go back over here. Move this, move this one here. Boom! It is still missing a wheel. How do I get that goddamn wheel? Yeah, these are all busted. Okay, so every single one of those is actually the same. A little bit of difference. No, 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 that wasn't going to work, was it? Go on, kitty. You kiss scare off those rats for me. Get me that wheel. Yeah! Excellent, kitty. Smart, kitty. Oh, did you, did you, I give you a wee cuddles. Tickles and cuddles. There we go. Sight one of the colored wheels, uh, then draw an... It's, it's, it's very, very quick about their descriptions there. Let me see. Instructions. Sight one of the colored wheels and draw an uninterrupted line connecting it with the wheel of the same color. Repeat for all the colored wheels. Okay. Fair enough. That seemed reasonable enough. Ah, uh, we have to do this a few times. Okey do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Happy days. Alright, uh, where is the longest to the longest? That doesn't even match that. Um, oh man, you serious? Wait, no, this is probably going to be that way. This is probably going to be... This needs to be... There. That goes that way. So... I want to trans... How do I... That without... Oh, there we go. What am I talking about? Oh, wait, no. I can't go that way. That bisects them, though, whenever I go that way. Any way I could go around that? I'm trying to think. I think my thinky pin's starting to go here a wee bit. Um... There's no way that can go. So connect. Is it? Oh no no God no! I want to skip the mini game. You should give me a tip. Must be a way to go. It's a lot of things to actually interrupt to do so. Ah. Oh. 
This is frustrating and a half. Is this some complicated way where I have to go like that? Then Is that the simplest one there? Because essentially if that has to go through there, that means that has to go through there. Because otherwise it can't go anywhere else. It can't go that way. It can't go through multiple ones. So that one has to be as simple as that. And that has to be simple as that. Immediately transects that though. That's pretty fine. Getting annoyed here. Do you not like it whenever the mini game become frustrating? When they become frustrating, I cannot get much work done. When I can't get much work, I really cannot make progress. And I want to finish this demo. Oh! Right, we're using a skip. Fuck you, mini game. I thought I thought I actually had figured that out reasonably well, but. I can't see where the opening would be to switch from one to the other. Oh, oh, are you serious? Oh, you f Ooh. It was really freaking obvious as well. Hey, where are you? Hey, Kitty, get, get the fuck back here! Stop. Don't. Bad cat. Bad. What the fuck are you doing? I can't believe I will interact with all of these objects. Don't know what any of them do. What do you want, kitty? Ooh. Book of Secrets. Oh, I can't even read that. Well, that explains all the bear traps. Whatever it is. Oh, nice necklace. So this is actually obviously a journal of a bear hunter or of a person who's had to deal with the motherfucking bears. Which is unbelievably frustrating, I imagine. Whoa! Hello! Okay, which bitch? Hey, 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 hey! Fuck off, birdie. How dare you break into my house? What? You're lost. A bear kidnapped your sister. Calm down, dear. Hmm. Let me see if I can help you. This is starting to really feel like the story of Brave. There might be a way. You'll need to make a special powder. It will reveal the bear's trail. Even lead you to its lair. If you so choose, some of the ingredients you will find in my hut, and the rest outside. I have to go. Okay. I have a problem to take care of. As in the bear? Or the fact that you are the bear? Everything you'll need to know is written in this book. Good to know. He looks cold. Please, set the fire.
Oh, you poor kitty. Okay, we need to start the fire for the kitty. Um. Ah, that's what it is. That's ingredients. Oh, oh, we gotta do a bunch of crafting. That's gonna be fun. All right, we'll go in here first, and we'll get this, and we'll do this, and we'll put those in there. What? Okay, fine. It's not hard chipped. Those two of them sit there actually look quite hard chipped. Oh, I'm gonna need to boil up shit as well, so I suppose I need to find some wood. Aha! It's eyeballs! Holy shit, there's stuff in here. Ooh, what the hell is this? Creepy fizz, a pair of wings. I'd like to know more. There's a branch of mistletoe stuck between the pages, but I can't open the book. It's locked. Is it now? Um. Nothing there we can use. Alright, either way. Out of the way to you. And we need to use the matches. There we go. What's this? Oh, right. So here's our actual hidden object game that goes with it now that we've lit the room. So, yeah. I give you a nut to get that goddamn thing back. She give you. All right. Okay, look in here. Anything of importance? No. Oh, the music just got all moody. That's a nut. These nuts! God, I need to actually crack the shell of it first. that actually needs to be opened there is there one that actually needs to be opened that, I mean oh there we go oh, wait we use a knife on that can I cut wire with a knife I need a better oh for fuck's sake Fine. Is there something on here that we can use? Oh, there we go. Cut a thing down. Bam. Sorted. Go to there. Use this. That gets me into the door. Right there, I pull out a pair of tweezers and what appears to be a... a what? A clippers. There we go. Pop. That is a pair of tongs. So here, I go and use the tongs. Um, sorted. 
Last damage, that's a prank. Um, prank means that, no it does not. What else has a crank in it? Does that use a prank? Does it need a crank? Oh wait, hang on, bam, there we go, ba ba ba. Okay, and what was inside there? That's what's in its drawer, that takes its drawer back. Crank on the top. Stopper to hold it in place. Bam, we have a grinder. Hey! That was clever. Gets her lit. So uh, what is it? It said something about honey, dare, poopy, and something else. Don't really pay much attention to it. Embers and tinder. Whoop whoop. Hot hot hot. find ingredients for this thing to actually be able to do shit so um assuming I need to go out my take my ass outside there's so much I can see in here yeah hey, boat boo boat a method of escape from this lunacy. Looking around at the speed and knuckles. What the fuck is going on? Slides into my chair and stops like and I need to actually focus a wee bit here because um I'm obviously not making a success. Oh oh there we go. That's where I needed to be. Need some bees. side of that that is a bear print
So I need to use the fumigator, fumigore to actually, um, yeah, I think. Isn't that right? Need, uh, tender to that. Boom! Got the fumigore. That's for getting rid of the, f um, motherfucking bees. So I can steal their honey. Okay, I'm dying and bugger off for a while so I can take some of their honeycomb. Now I need to extract the honey from the honeycomb. Yeah, yeah, that's actually something I need to do. I'm sure, I'm sure. Alright, it feels like the pace is a bit not slower, but I think it's actually like from the games I've played so far, from the uh treasures, uh treasures in the deep one to the clockwork one to the um what was the third one there was a clockwork legends one and then the third one was actually a weird village can't remember yeah did you murder mystery in a village during a storm like a reporter um they the plot the, the pacing seems to have slowed down in these games where um we whenever you get stuck in a puzzle obviously that's going to happen you're going to get um all messed up and Concerned about it, like you're as if you're. You can press the honey. Yes, but do I not need to do this first? Okay. Press the honey from the honeycomb. That's a grinder. Where do I have a press in here? fire oh <coughs> the hell was that I felt less than useless oh what are you a clone All one of the ingredients in this? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Squeezy, 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 squeeze. Ding. Problem solved. Do I need a bear wax track? I need a I need a wax printing of a goddamn bear track. That's weird. Really, and that's there too. Oh, right. <coughs> I didn't mean to actually do that. So, if I go down here, and take this, and use that, and melt the wax. Are you fucking. Uh, it does feel a little bit like busy work whenever you run around doing this, whenever you kind of like have to figure out what you need to do. Boom! Melt that bitch in wax. Put it in a mug. Your brain will slap you, your tongue will slap your brains out to your head trying to get at it. Put some on your head. There we go. There's a wax cast for you. Oh, we need one of a bear claw. Bear claw. That'd be so tasty right now. Okay. Bop, bop. Rip, bop. Bop, bop. Rip. Yep. Done. Oh, 
excuse me. So, all right, so that and that first, okay, then that and that. Match up those bear claws. Oh yeah, wrap them up first. Make it easy to smash them. Toppy, 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 toppy. Open, open, open. I need to add an extra amount of each ingredient mentioned in the recipe. What? All right. So I need to do that. around lovely jubbly this is up and throw that in my pocket well done my dear your natural talent hmm I wonder have we met before in a previous life never mind you should go into the forest now sprinkle this powder over the ground it should reveal the trail you're after my kitty will go with you it likes you I'm that damn kitty is now mine. It's nothing to do with you, woman. That you're familiar, you've already got a raven. Kitty cat! Didn't she just done up her house there a wee bit? the stuff sprinkle all the stuff sprinky 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 Amazing. the sparkling powder reveals the bear's trail which has been washed by the rain Ooh, okay this is no time for guesswork i need to know exactly where i'm going the trail like a boss <laughs> you can follow your sparkle trail anywhere pilgrim hey to the bear that must be castle hogwitz it's been abandoned for some time yes obviously Oh, you just white bolts. By the way, that's not good. I am clicking around everywhere for no reason. I don't know why. Those wounds. Was it a bear? Hmm. One would think so. Hmm. What is it to do? Watch out for the bear that lurks behind these, these parts. Boom. Is that more? 
Oh, I can dredge for them. Sweet. I was wondering actually how I was going to get those out of the water. Forgot that I actually had taken the bag from earlier on. Oh, from underneath my leg. Well, let's continue on, pilgrim. Boom! Loading the crossbow. Mines. And now I have a machine gun. <laughs> Okay, so everything out of there. Oh wait, hang on. Boom. Where am I gonna go? I don't know. Right. Boom. Boom, hit the edge of it. Happy days. <laughs> Breaking all of those sandbags. The one I can't see. You there? Boom, whole thing gone. Done dusted. Resist the urge to shoot the skull the entire time. I will punch on the way past. Okay, I have no idea what I'm looking for here, lang lettering wise. Anybody know their Latin all that well? Okay. <laughs> it was simple as that. Open sesame. Oh. Well, really? That was actually the last puzzle of the game for the demo? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, essentially, you could tell uh, my my spirits were flagging near the tail end of Grim Legends, the Forsaken Bride there. The game isn't in disinteresting. It seems to actually have a very, very similar to Brave plot with the witch showing up when she does the bear attack and so on. I think it's actually like that is the basis of the Grim Fable of Brave, what this is based on, the Forsaken Bride uh, princess that was actually unloved or whatever else that Disney did, made their attempt on. But, um, yeah, we just need to continue on to our search at the Sea of the Girl. If you want to know more about Grim Legends, uh, you can, of course, look them up on Artifacts Monday, or you can come here to the channel, and Artifacts Monday may actually be the willful, happy souls that they are, and give us a chance to actually play a bit further into this game. Uh, I've always been meaning to get back to Treasures of the Deep, so we probably will play, um, a playthrough of that fairly soon whenever I've got a little bit of energy and willpower and see how many of the puzzles we can hammer through as quickly as we can. So, 30, solve 30 puzzles and challenges in the fabulous world of Legends. Was that part of the 30 in that game? So It makes me feel like these games aren't massively long, except they just have a little bit of difficulty to them, so um, maybe we can actually hammer through a few fairly soon. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has actually been my opinions on A Grim Legends of Forsaken Bride by Artifacts Monday. If you have enjoyed my opinions, if you enjoyed my gameplay and you enjoyed watching what's here on the channel, you can hit the subscribe button that's right up here and allows you to actually be able to see everything that comes out in the channel through your subscription box. Make sure to hit the bell as well for notifications. Over on this side over here, this is all stuff that I've been working on over the last wee while. Uh, recent videos that you can check out and enjoy at your own leisure. I recommend you watch all of them because it's all good fun. And I say thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.